I think this is the place, isn't it? I think this is where he wanted me to be. <clears throat> oh, what's the sheet say? Talk to the audience. Ah, sure, but yes, I can do that, no bother. <clears throat> Dear Gwitch, it's Misha Kulchi Oira. And today, well, to be honest with you, lads, I was just told to come here, like, um, well, y you see, right? So, I was just minding my own business, doing nothing. And then I started to hear these whispers from, like, outside the door. So I opened the door and I saw nothing. But then I heard the whispers, like, start to go away from me. But going into other doors in the house. So I was like, ah, sure be is. It could be a fucking robber. I might as well actually investigate this, you know. And, like, one thing basically led to another. And now I'm stuck here, wherever the fuck this glitchy thing is. Like, everywhere I look is just all glitchiness and stuff. And I'm hearing little echoes of various voices and shit. Like, it's very mad, like. But, um... Yeah, no, it's weird, and, like, I actually got to a certain point where, like, I started to hear this voice that I was chasing very clearly, and, like, it said to me anyway, like, that I should, um, hop onto this, I guess, undercover podcast series, like, honestly, I I'm kind of tempted to tell the Night Flyer about this sort of shit, but, like, something tells me that I'm doing something very illegal that he probably wouldn't like, like, himself, so... For my own safety, I'll probably just keep it under wraps, but, like, sure, bitches, you know how it is, like, you don't want to be ratting out to him, like, especially, like, if this is an undercover thing for a reason, like, like, I'm not going to lie to you, I don't even know what to talk about, all I know is that I'm here and I'm doing shit, like, I know that there's been other people here, and apparently there are other people that exist, not just me and the Night Flyer, like, obviously that voice that talked to me was the first person I discovered outside of our circle. Then I discovered these other lads, uh, the first one I think was named Joseph Nightflyer and there's this guy that puts on a weird accent and he calls himself Papa Pyro Cynical and yeah like it, it's just been strange and I swear I've been seeing like hallucinations and whatnot of other people and it's very strange. I don't even know how I know their names, I just, I just know them you know, like that's just how it is. It's very strange. But anyway, like, it's very strange, this scenario. I don't even know what the fuck's going on, like, if I'm being honest with you. But again, as I have to say, like, it, it's very sketchy, like, all this shit that's going on. Like, I hope the Gardaí don't catch us, like. Because if we got caught by the Gardaí now, we're all fucked, like. They'd probably rat out to, like, the Night Flyer or something. And I, I don't know what he'd do, but, like, even just thinking about him just kind of puts me on edge. Like, I'm not going to lie. It's very strange. I know, um, there's another character I can see in my head very clearly, but, like, I don't know why I know him, but his name is Dark Knight Flyer. And all I see is, like, a body on the floor wearing, like, a reddish hoodie. I'm telling you something anyway, he must have been, <laughs> he must have been on a few drinks there now. But no, I'm not serious though, like, I'm pretty sure that guy's dead. But I don't know why he's dead, and why I see the Night Flyer, like, beside him. God, that, that, that shite is scary, man. I don't want to get into this shit. But, like, I'm here now, so, like, I might as well fucking finish this thing, right? That, that's just how it is, you know? And, like, you know, another thing I must mention is that... What the fuck was that? Where the fuck did a pen come from? Hello? Is someone in this room with me? Fucking hell, this fucking place is tripping me out. I'm probably the only one that could hear that, whatever the fuck that was. Even though, well, I could clearly see the pen in front of me, like. But, like, that that's put me on edge. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to actually leave this. I don't even want to do this anymore. Because they didn't specifically say if I needed to do this for any amount of time or anything. They were just like, here, sit down, talk to people, and leave whenever you want, like, so... Basically, I could leave now if I wanted to, but, like, something's telling me that I have to stay here for a tiny bit longer, like. And... I don't know if you hear that, but I hear noises outside the room. I'm gonna have a look through the keyhole. Why the fuck am I so scared? There's nothing there! There's literally nothing there! I don't know why, it gives me major anxiety now looking out this door. 
What the fuck? That's so weird. Nah, here, that's that's fucking cap. I hate that. What the fuck is that? I say that, but what what do I mean by that? Jesus, man, this fucking wherever I am now is making me go insane. I'm starting to see shit like. Anyway, I, gu I guess I'll stop here, like, because there's nothing else I really need to say. There's another instruction actually on the sheet. It tells me join up with the others, and that's it. Like, there's nothing else there. So since I'm stuck in this fucking place, I might as well fucking play along with this shit. Like, unless the Night Flyer comes for me himself and actually, well, rescues me from this fucking thing. But, like, sure, he said, I'm not going to even bother recording uh, D3 with you this year, uh, Kulti Ira. So, like, why the fuck should I bother, like, if he's a fucking lazy cunt and won't even include me again in his videos, like... Now what I think about him, he is a bit of a weirdo fucking deny flyer like. Every so often he'll have like this normal voice and he'll sound something like this, he'll be like, Oh hey Kulchaira, how are you doing? And then the next second like he'll just be like So Kulchaira What are you doing here? You know, that sort of weird shit. I don't know what I was saying just there, I just said it randomly because I didn't know what else to fucking say, like, but it is what it is like. Anyway, I leave you with that anyway, like, um, I'm off. I'm fucking out of here. Hold on, let me have another look out to the keyhole. Yeah, no, I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, I'm not feeling any anxiety. Oh, okay, yeah, it's, I'm starting to feel a bit heavy now, but I'm sure I'll be able to leave, right? Okay, we're good to go. Take care and keep watching.